Hey folks, Jim Game here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. Today we're going to course by Tano Palo and this is Palo Verde GC, uh, Palo Verde Park GC. As you see, the fairway firmness is moderate, the greens firmness is soft, the green speed is fast, time of day, noon, got a little bit of light cloud on there as well, and the wind speed is medium. And we're playing off the black tees, which is 7,000. 407 yards. And what Tano Palo says, this is his newest and first course for TGC 2019, meaning that it's not a ported over course, it's all been designed on TGC 2019. It is a fictional course located at the coast of Los Angeles, thus the name of Palo Verde. It is a park style course with a lot of sunlight and beautiful ocean views. It has been built near suburban areas, but you can also see a view of the city from time to time. Very nice. Let's have a little look around. As you see, there's suburban areas over here. I do like the way he's done all the planting around the trees now as well. Wow, that must be painstakingly taking a lot of time to do that. Love a little pocket wall there. Nice planting around there as well. I mean, if you guys used to watch my um, TGC2 videos, I mean, I used to, I can't do it. Look, that's as high as I can go. I used to pan out and do a little sort of zoom around of that. Uh, zoom out and do a little pan around, but all I can do is go into this, and this is how the PC guys um, take the, the pictures for the forums and stuff. And then you can actually zoom, uh, pan, zoom right out. You can pan around. And you can go actually anywhere on the course you want. You can speed it up. Yeah, this is how we um, take our thumbnail pictures and stuff like that. It's a great little addition to the, the PC, this is. I mean, it was actually left in there on TGC1 and they were going to take it out but a lot of the PC guys asked them to leave it in and they did. The only problem with that, as you see my HUD has all disappeared so I have to go back into it. Go to camera settings and put the HUD back on. There we go. And just hit B for back and we're back on the T. Okay, so here we go. Hole 1, 449 yards par 4, stroke index 3. 8 mile an hour wind coming in from the left, so I'm going to aim down this left hand side a little bit. The wind should push it back in for us. Okay, nice strike. Okay, 312 yard drive. Looks like we're on a bit of a slope here. Left to right. Okay, 131 to the pin. I think I might just go down with the gap wedge here because the gap wedge still has a little bit of run on it when it hits the, the green. Okay, need that wind to bring around a little bit. Oh, that's going to be quite nice, I think. It runs up there for me. Go on. That's not too bad at all. And even though the um, I've got these greens set for soft firmness, that's a gap wedge. It's still a little bit of run on it. You expect a little bit more bite. And that's a bit of a contention on the forums at the moment. Is um the spin and the bite that the the ball, the ball was getting on the greens. I mean HB went really really quiet over this last couple of weeks. And Mister it was Mister Bellamy asked me the other day on one of the videos um any idea when we're going to get in a, a patch or an update coming out? And I haven't heard nothing from HB to be honest. And it's it's not like HB. I mean, they did this with TGC2 as well, mind you. And I think it's down to the publishers because they used to be so open and honest. Well, mind you, that was when Auntie Kine was with us. Okay, hole 295 yards, part three, stroke index five. Yeah, since Auntie Kine left, they, they don't do their, their what do you call it? The, the dev streams and the, the you know what I mean? Try to think of the word. What was it? Not the dev streams. Um, oh, that should kick lovely to the right here. Oh, yes, it is. Nice. Not bad at all. Okay, so we've got 11 feet. It should turn a little bit right to left here. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, just missed that. Okay, not too bad. 
birdie par. Okay, hole three, 556 yards, par five, stroke index 17. And the sun has come out behind the clouds here. Again, lovely, it is a really nice looking course. Yeah, what I was saying about HB, I mean, with no roadmap, with the, they ain't doing the, the streams anymore, the, you know what I mean, the, oh, what was it, what was the bloody word I'm looking for? Dev chat, dev stream, dev something or <laughs> other, it's just, it's just gone out of my head. They were the ones that Anthony Kine used to do all the time. <laughs> we used to get get onto Twitch and he'd answer tons and tons of questions about what they were working on and things like that, but they, they don't do that anymore. Okay, oh, ooh, 274 yards. Now this should reach here. Oh, but then without wind, you know what? I'm actually going to drop down to the one iron here. I'm going to go for the birdie. Not going to be greedy. Just want to leave myself a nice little pitch in. Oh, this might reach the green. Oh, no, it's not. That's okay. That's going to be fun. Yeah, if I went for the green there with the three wood, I think I would have left myself a good 40, 50 foot putt. Okay, 36 yards. Let's stick with the, the pitch. Oh, come on, pull up. Oh, yes, that's nice. So that's going to leave us a little tap in for the birdie. K hole 4, 447 yards, par 4, stroke index 11. It's got a nice, um, I do like a cart path in that as well. I noticed that when I was zooming out, it's got it going all the way around. And it looks pretty nice. It's also a bit of that scene. With the, it's got little like fence posts and all around it as well. It looks pretty cool. Okay, let's just smash one up there. Oh, and he hits a fast. But look at that, that's... Just went straight down the middle there. I mean, if I, if to be honest, if you hit a fast, I should be ten yards in into that rough. To be honest, didn't hit a perfect, perfect, so I should be in the rough. You're just not getting penalised enough, I don't think, on 2019. Okay, 114 yards. So that's actually playing about 118. Let's drop it down to the sand wedge. That should be good with that wind. Oh, and yeah, as soon as I swung forward there, you can actually feel when you've hit a fast or a slow. As soon as, soon as I swung forward there, I knew I'd hit a slow. That's a pretty bad shot. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go down with the, the nine yard chip here. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. That's how you do it. Nice save. Nice birdie save. Okay, hole 5, 394 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. Okay, nice little pocket of water there again. I mean, I've said this in loads of my videos. I love it when they, they do a nice little pockets of water and little water features and that. And all that rock plant and all that around there as well. And you've got all the plants on the other side. Very, very nice. I mean, all them rocks are all single planted. One at a time, well... And you've got a multi-plant thing now. You go do, 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 with a button. You know what I mean? Uh, very, very nice. Yep. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we've got here 394 yards. Got a bit of wind against us here. I don't want to go too far towards this right-hand side here, just in case. Oh, no. It's a slow. And it's going right. Oh, that might pull up for me, though. Come on, slow down. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was so close. Okay, 109. It's playing 110. So let's, um, 121's too much. Let's down loft it a little bit. Counteract that wind. Okay, that's nice. 
Depends on distance. Oh, that stopped pretty dead, that. I think that must be a little bit of an upslope. Okay, 12 foot, two inches up. Oh, come on, turn. Wow, that stayed pretty straight. I think I pulled it a little bit left there as well, though. I still haven't sorted this blooming putt and swing out. I mean, you've noticed in my last video that I was missing a lot of putts to the left. I think they were on target. I think it's just me pulling slightly to the left. I love that texture he's got over there on the left-hand side, that sort of dried out, sort of burnt texture. With the grasses as well, going through the trees. Very, very nice looking. Okay, a couple of big bunkers here. Right. I don't think I'm going to actually hit the... Oh, that's... That's a little bit of a downslope there, so that'll actually run off, I reckon. So I reckon if we come over here, this should feed it back down towards the pin for us. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of loft on there as well because of the wind. Oh, it's a slow. Didn't want to do that. That's going to kick over to the left. Yep. Yeah, I wanted to be way over this left-hand side here and catch that slope and feed it down towards the, the pin. But I hit another bad tempo shot. Okay, 26 feet, one inch down. So turning left to right. Shouldn't turn too much, I don't think, now. Come on, stop turning. Oh, look how close that was. And I missed that to the right-hand side. A little bit more pace, that would have been bang on. I still have to get into the um, do some more of the PGA to unlock some more stuff. I unlocked um, some more tattoo golf stuff. I think that's pretty nice. I didn't like it at the start, with the funny little patterns and skulls now on it. But some of them look not too bad. It's the other stuff that I think is absolutely poggly there. Is it Royal and Ancient? I think it's cold. That is ugly. That's some ugly stuff. And then you got the Under Armour. The Under Armour's not too bad. Oh, did you just watch, um, talking of Under Armour, anybody see the fight at the weekend? What a fight. Yeah, Andy, Andy Joshua and Povetkin. That Povetkin's a, a bit of an animal. He was very sort of Tyson-esque the way he was fighting. Stocky little guy. And just the way he was throwing some of them punches and that as well. He actually rocked um, Joshua. And I think it was the first or second uh, round. But, oh man, Joshua. When he came out, uh, sixth, seventh round when he knocked him out. That, that, was, that was some class boxing. Just kept um, going for the body, for the body, for the body. And then opened him up. Oh, some cracking hits. And that's the actual first time Povetkin has ever been knocked out. Great fight, I thought it was. Oh, come on. I need you to run up there. That's the thing with me. <laughs> I start chatting away and I start losing concentration what I'm doing. Well, like I said, guys, I, mean, I don't mind scoring low. I quite like hitting low scores, but eh, I just like getting on doing a little video chatting to use guys showing the course off for the, the designers and that so i mean i don't play competitively like that anymore so and when i did i took it way too serious oh look at that that's a bad putt <laughs> yeah i'm just not concentrate. right let's get into it yeah as i said when i play tgc tours and all that uh, when i play competitive i take it a little bit too serious and I was practicing, practicing the courses all the time. Then you have to play four rounds of the same course. It just got a bit too boring for me. But I think you had to put that amount of practice in if you wanted to be competitive against some of them guys on TGC Tours. I mean, when I was in it, I was never out of the top 10 in the PGA. But you're talking, oh, I didn't even play it in TGC 2. This was TGC 1. But yeah, really good. It was really good what they've done in the TGC Tours. Okay, hole 8, 542 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. Wow, hole 8 already. Didn't even realise. Must be chanting too much. <laughs> okay, that was a nice strike. 
That's just going to hit over 300 yards. 302 yards. Right in the middle of the fairway. Now, are we going to reach this green in two? 246. That's playing 247. Yes, we are. I'm going to go with the one iron now. Now, hopefully this slopes. Oh. See, I don't think we'll reach the green if we go straight for the pin here. And the three wood is going to be way too much. I could always put a bit of loft on that, I reckon. What do you reckon? Nope. So, I'm going to go down with the one iron. It's par five. Tell you what. I'm going to go for the birdie. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Just go for the birdie. Try and leave myself a full pitch shot in. Okay, 54. Uh, we've got 56 yard carry with the sand wedge. Yeah, put a little bit of loft on that. Nice big divot. That should pull up lovely. Oh, almost in the hole. Yep, I think that was the right choice to make that. Just to try and be greedy and go for the eagle. Because if, you if, you if you're not inside 10 feet, it's... Oh, it's... 50-50 chance you're going to get the eagle putt anyway. Okay, hole 9, 450 yards par 4, stroke index 9. Again, lovely little pocket of water that. You could do with a couple of um, little ducks. Quack, quack. On that. Ah, uh, this is a bit of a scene when I, I was zoomed out there. The, the, the little sort of fence posts that go all the way around here. Look, that's pretty cool. I do like that. Okay, let's just aim up to the left hand side of this little sort of tree. Nice drive, the wind should push it around for me. Again, lovely view up there of the ocean. We've got a little sailboat out there as well. I do like the, the sort of light cloud that you put on as well. Just adds that little bit extra. Yeah, these, um, I do like the way he's done his cart path here. Looks like a little, little patio set there, look. <laughs> Tell you what would be nice as well. There are those little street lamps, just one or two dotted up and down this sort of path here. That would look pretty cool. Okay. So what have we got? 144. That's playing about 146. We're on a bit of an upslope. Should be good. Oh, come on. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So that's going to leave us a little tap in for the birdie. Ooh, it's a little bit downhill and a little bit left to right, but we get it. And there's a clubhouse over that. Should have had a wee look at that as well. Okay, hole 10, 478 yards, par four, stroke index 10. There you go, you can see the cityscape there in the background. Very nicely done. I do like the sort of beach work he's got uh, going all the way up the left hand side of the fairway here. Nice little bits of rock working that through it as well. Okay, pretty thin fairway. But should be okay. Nope, it's a fast. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I said, you can tell straight away if you hit a slow or a fast. Okay, can we reach? It's not a very high face here, so thinking we probably could reach the green, you know. I'm going to go with a 5 iron. 78, 83%. I might not even make that, but we'll give it a try. Oh, it's a nice strike. Is it going to reach the green? If it does, it's not going to go up that top slope, though, I don't think. Nope, it's just bit. There we go. That's going to slow right down. That's going to leave us one hell of a putt. Okay, let's just try and get it close. Go for the part. Wow, look at this. So everything's going left to right here. Until we get to there, and then it's going right there. Everything's going right to left at the start. We have to aim up to probably here somewhere, I reckon. Okay, it's 55 feet, it's pretty 
sort of straightish, but it's uphill right at the start here. Nope, nope. Distance was pretty spot on. That's not bad from there. I should have known um, the amount of pace I hit it to get out that hill at the start. I knew it wouldn't have turned that much, so I should have played it more to the left. So, nice save for the par there, though, considering where we were. Okay, hole 11, 463 yards, par 4, stroke index 12. Okay, you've got another tree in the fairway here. I mean, they're not actually impeding your shot much. you just got to go a little bit left to right of them. Nice sort of plant all the way up the left-hand side. So we'll probably just aim towards it here, and the wind hopefully should bring it back round for us. Was that a driver? Sounded like a three wood. That was. I hit a blooming three wood there. <laughs> and again, not concentrating. Too busy chatting. And too busy taking in the visuals of the course, because it's a beautiful looking course. Okay, 180. Yeah, that should have been, oh, I should have been hitting a blooming seven or eight iron into this here. Okay, or oh, eight iron I should have been hitting in, because I should have went with that blooming driver. Okay, this should be okay though, I reckon. Oh, it's a fast again. I was going to just stay out to the left, so we're going to have to play a little chip in here okay 15 feet one foot up oh that's not bad good distance a little bit more to the left though and we would have got that kind of I mean it says my uh, Los Angeles, it kind of reminds me of Florida. You, you, you see the, with the houseboats outside the, the houses in Florida and stuff like that. Okay, hole 12, 168 yards, par 3, stroke index 2. Okay, 170. Let's go down to the 8 iron. Put a little bit of loft on it. Nice strike. I need that to pull round to the left. Come on. Oh, yes, that's not bad at all. Distance was absolutely spot on. That should leave us a nice little putt for the birdie. Great view, that. Yeah, I'm quite glad he's, he's uh, like put the cityscape across the, the sort of river there, or the, the inlet. Because I think uh, when them buildings are, are close to the, the course themselves, they don't really look that great close up, to be honest. They're pretty, like, low textures. They're not very nice close up. Okay, lovely rock work all the way up the left-hand side there, that little sort of... You could you call that, like, a, an inlet? Yeah, an inlet. <laughs> yeah, it's really nicely done. Beautiful looking course, it really is. Okay, Oh, seven mile an hour wind against us. Oh, can we get across that? Let's go for it. Nice strike. I need you to go up over that bunker. Come on. Up, 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 up. Nope, the wind's holding it back. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is a plug and a half. Heavy rough, mind you. 84 to 91. I thought that was in the bunker. Okay, three wood. Yeah, I'm going to go with a one iron. And uh, we'll see if we can get the, the birdie. Yeah, I just tried to take a little bit too much off that corner. That's not bad at all, though. That's moved us quite a bit up the fairway. I mean, 221 yards out of the heavy rough. And it actually looked like it was plugged in the heavy rough there. Okay, 86. It's playing 87. I don't want to go with a pitch. I'm going to go with a normal. And we're going to go down to the lob wedge. I think. Oh, not too much. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit too much on that. So let's go back down again. 
try that, I think. Okay, nice big divot. Come on. Yep, that wasn't too bad at all. I mean, I probably didn't even have to take any off that, to be honest. That would have stopped dead, I reckon. Okay, nice little birdie, that. Okay, hole 14, 425 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. Yeah, you've got your car path winding all the way up that, all the way around, and it sort of splits the fairway. Okay, so let's aim down this right-hand side here. Let the wind sort of just draw back in for us. There we go, let's turn around, lovely. Should be right in the middle of the fairway. There we go, let's just pull them down into the left. Nice drive, 305 yards. Okay, 124, so this is playing 126 roundabout. And is that a little bit of a downslope there? I think it is, so I'm just gonna hit this dead. Because if it hits that down slope, that should push it down towards the hole for us. The wind's going to push it around a little bit. No, oh, come on. Oh, the wind pushed it just a little bit too much to the left there. I wanted to be kind of over where the, the shot marker is. Yeah, there you go. See, that would have pushed it right down towards the hole if I was a little bit more left. Okay, 15 feet, 6 inches down. Oh, this could be a tough little putt there. I'm just going to have to tap this. It's a little tiny tap. Oh, that's nowhere near it. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> that's pretty bad putt, that was. That hardly turned, though. Okay, hole 15, 472 yards, par 4, stroke index 6. Okay, it's just sort of turning around to the right here where the trees are. Again, you've got your cut path sort of splitting the fairway up. A couple of bunkers on the right, one big one on the left-hand side. Rather thinnish fairway, but you should be able to handle it okay. Again, great sort of like a river inlet, whatever this is. Yes, it is an inlet, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it is, because it's coming in from the ocean. So it's an inlet. <laughs> yeah, he's done some great work planting all the way around there. That must be that must take ages to do. I mean, look at that. All the way up and down the coast here. The shoreline, should I say. And going out into the, the, the ocean. Lovely. Oh, where the hell are we? Yeah, I wish they would, uh, like I said before in one of my videos, they, uh, I wish they would unlock that away from each other, the scout cam, and just sort of, there should be a button to like, explore, you know what I mean, just to have a little look around. I mean, it's pretty easy for us guys on PC, because we can use them camera sends that I showed you at the start. Oh, it's a slow, but that's hardly moved. Come on, kick left for me, go on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very nice. Nice bounce. Like I said, I mean, it's not far off the blue mark there, if you see it at the top. But I still think if you don't hit a perfect perfect, it should be knocking you 5, 10, 15 yards offline, to be honest. Okay, 151. Going to go down to the 9 iron. A little bit of loft on it. Uh, did I take too much off that? don't know. I think I might have. Oh, no, that's okay. Bite, bite. No, nope, that's just going to roll all the way past. I rolled quite a bit past. So what's that leave us with? Quite a big putt, 18 feet, one inch down. Come on, get it. Oh, come on. Look at that. Little tiny touch more, and it would have had a nice little birdie there. Okay, hole 16, 194 yards, par 3, stroke index 14. Great lookout into the ocean now. 
again, you see the little sort of posts he's got going all the way down his um, little cart path there. Oh, I really like them. That's pretty nicely done. It's just all these little sort of extra added touches, attention to detail that I really like. Beautiful coastline as well. Again, he's got lovely rock work all the way up, all the way around here. Very nicely done. Should put a little, couple of little tiki huts over there, maybe. <laughs> right, where are we? Uh, I'm lost again. Okay, here we are, 201 yards. It's playing 200. Oh, 180. With that wind. Do you know what? I think that might be okay. A little bit of a pull to the left, that. Is it going to stay on target for me? I hit the rough, or the light, the, the light rough, or the fairway, whatever it was. If it hit the fringe, it probably would have been right over the back of the green there. I don't know what it is when you hit the fringe. It seems to be a, yeah, a little bit more firm than either the green or the, the fairway, if you know what I mean. Okay, 14 feet, 2 inches up. Turn. Go on. Oh, that actually stopped when it hit the hole there. That should have been in. Okay, hole 17. Par 4, 377 yards. Stroke index 8. Again, great rock work all the way up the left hand side here. I do like the, the way he's done his coastline. It's very nice. Okay, one iron. I think we're going to go with three wood here, I reckon. I think driver is probably going to run out. So I reckon three wood. Oh no. And you slow. That was pretty bad. Oh, don't go too fucked. Oh no, that tree might be in the way here. I think we've just come under it. So I think we should be okay. Yeah, like I said, you can tell straight away as soon as you've hit a slow or a fast. Okay, 121 is playing 122. I reckon the gap wedge should be good enough. Wind's pulling it round. Oh, it's going to be a little bit left of it though. I expect the gap wedge to sort of bite a little bit more. It's sort of pitching and then skipping forward that little bit. Okay, there we go. Nice birdie. Yeah, you'd expect, I mean, the soft greens, you'd expect the gap wedge to sort of pitch and maybe get a little bit of a, more of a bite and a, sort of a little bit of a, not, I wouldn't say spin, spin, but stop quicker. You know what I mean? Okay, hole 18, 557 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. Okay, final hole, par 5. Now, can we reach this green in two? Again, love the coast work again. I mean, look at all that rock work just up there. That's beautiful looking. Great looking course. Okay, let's just go down the, the right down the edge of these trees here. Okay, a little pool left, but it should be okay. It's going to run up towards the cart path here. Okay, 288 yards. Ooh, 289. He's going to reach this green. Come on. 262 is playing, what, 266? I don't know if we'll reach that with that wind. We'll give it a try, though, since it's the last hole. Oh, that's going to pull up short. There's a little bit of an upslope there, right at the edge of the green. Yep. So it's going to leave us a little chip up to the pin. 13 yards, one foot up. I'm going to stick with the, the lob wedge here. Slow, slow. Oh, that wasn't good. Slow, slow. Uh, fast, slow, sorry. Okay, guys. That is a Palo Verdes by Tano Palo. Beautiful. Beautiful course. Really enjoyed this. And there's somebody at my door. So don't forget guys, if you like the content, hit that like button and I will catch it again next time.